boys, what you're seeing on the screen right now is probably one of the most funnest teams I have built in a long time. I'm yet to try it, and I'm looking forward to trying it. A full Eredivisie team, literally more than 80% of this team, is accessible through grinding their squad foundation objectives. Uh, Robin, Kleber, and this dude is an SBC, and Onana and Dumfries are literally the only ones brought. I am so excited to try this team out, boys. It's something different. My main team has what? Team of Year, Bruno, Palais, Cristiano Ronaldo, but no, I want to try something different for the sake of this review and also I just want to have a team to rotate with. If my main team's not working, we have this very fun Eredivisie team. I'm honestly looking forward to trying this because this is my first time using this team. As you can see, all these cards have got zero games played except for the SBC ones that I've already used like Kleber. But as you can see, literally most of them are fresh, haven't played a single game uh, in Rivals or Champs or online with them. So boys, I'm looking forward to this, but today we've got the 86 rate Collert review. Now hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. After this intro I'm going to go and have a look on how to pronounce his name. Obviously I'm definitely not German so I will not know how to pronounce his name whatsoever. Uh, let's just call him Matt. His first name is Matt so we will call him Matt just so we don't offend anyone. But boys this takes roughly three and a half hours to complete. I did end up working out. It takes a minimum of 18 games in a managerial masterpiece game mode. Each game six minutes a half which is around 12 minutes. Then 18 times 12 ended up being like 3.6 hours or three and a half hours. And obviously, some people will quit, so keep that in mind. But still, you've got to build the team, and it's not like you'll be constantly playing games. You'll be taking breaks. So I'd say anywhere between three to four and a half hours is what you're looking at to get this card. And people, first of all, they were saying he's a, he's a disappointment. Free star, free star, medium attacking work rates. But we are here to actually see if that is the case. Boys, if you do go on to enjoy the content, a like and sub does go a long way of support recently has been unreal. Enough rambling boys, coming in at 5 foot 6, medium high work crates, like I said I would really want the high attacking work crates, high defensive work crates as a left mid or as, as any mid, as any right cam or attacking style player, you do not want to see that. He's left footed and free star, free star, once again, stuff you do not like to see. Attributes though, he is rapid, 91 pace, his shooting is phenomenal, his passing is very solid, 90 96 agility, 95 balance, oh my god, he'll be so smooth on the ball, lads. And physical-wise, 60 strength isn't great, but 90 stamina, absolutely sensational. Before even hopping into the game, 90 stamina is going to be great, but 96 agility, 95 balance, 5 foot 6, he is going to feel brilliant on the ball. He is, I'm actually excited to see how he feels on the ball, because he will feel absolutely brilliant. Boys, what we're going to do as well is the, the lineup we are playing, we're playing a 4 triple 2 and we do have him as a right cam, just because we do want to have him on uh, so he can cut inside and finish it on his left. We have him on get into the box and drift wide, and that is the exact same for the defensive instructions as well. We do have him on get into the box and drift wide. This is a lineup we've got Robin and Danilo at striker, like I said, Colute as a right cam, which will be with drift wide and get into the box. He'll be basically working as a right winger in a sense, so so he'll be, uh, like I said, drift wide. He will be more like, you know, getting in behind. He's also, yeah, free roam, but drift wide 100%. Is where he's going to be best because he's 91 pace. He feels brilliant on the ball. And like I said, playing him on the right, you can cut inside and finish it on his left. We do have Van Bergen on the left because he's five star weak foot. So that way it doesn't matter whether or not we have to cut him. Boys, I'm looking forward to this review. Is he worth the four hours grind? Let's get into the review. Here we go, boys. Also, we are in Division 1, so obviously, we'll just have to see how my team competes against Neymar's and Barpes, Varane, and all of that stuff. I mean, he's got Neymar, he's got the striker who he'll most likely be subbing off. Oh my god. Reese James, Future Stars, played off Kim as a centre back with Pope and Net. That's how you know he's a sweat. But it's, it's honestly a nice team. I mean, I say a nice team. It's just a meta team. Fair play. I'm guessing you'll be subbing a striker off. Hopefully it's not for Mbappe, but we'll just have to see. Let's get into it, boys. I've got no clue where he is. Oh, there he is. Now he's running into position. Here we go. Kolu. Oh my god. He feels absolutely unreal on the ball, as expected. As expected. Holy shit. He honestly feels... He's like the closest thing to Neymar. That's not Neymar. On the ball. Go on. Trigger that run. Go on. He's offside. He's offside, isn't he? He's not offside as well. Okay, well, once again, running in behind, which is drift wide. Running in behind. Perfect. 
but still just sadly not finishing. I was halfway speed and had to be offside. I, I have to focus. I'm not focused, boys. I'm honestly shocked with how good he feels. It was expected, but he is genuinely the closest thing to Neymar that you can get. Very, very tactical on my opponent's part. Go on, Danilo. Call it here. Round C. That's a really nice pass through to Danilo. Danilo, face shot around. Unlucky. Robin's there for the cleanup. There we go. 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. We will take that, boys. Call it getting heavily involved there with that semi-assist or pre-assist, giving that through to Danilo, and then obviously Danilo couldn't finish. But lucky enough, the man himself, Arjen Robin, is there for that. What I can take away from that, beautiful positioning, as you can see, getting into the box, he was like cutting inside, which for a right cam is absolutely perfect. And that is the benefits of that. And Bergen gets to that. Go on, grab him, Birch. There we are. Collert over the top to Robin. Sadly, go on. I mean, sadly, Alex Sullies gets here first, but we get a little bit of luck here. Collert, once again, this is very... I'm Okay, he does get it. There's a fly on my screen. Oh, shit, boys. This is taking a turn for the worst. Danilo, make that run. It's definitely not Danilo. That's Van Bergen. We've scored a goal, and he's a freaking fly. I don't even know what that shit is. I'm telling you now, boys, that was not a fly. That was not a fly. I do not know what the fuck that was. It gave me a fright, to be fair, but... I mean, we're 2-1 up. Collet. Down. Back up to Collet. Making that run. Dude. Shirt gets pulled. I'm fast as fuck, boy! This is where he thrives, boys. Okay, we're gonna ball roll in. Send the man. Finish it. What a fucking finish, boys. What a... And he gets absolutely yeeted by Robin as well. That's where he thrives, lads. Sprinting down, cutting inside, what a finish, incredible shot power, that's where he's at his best boys, that's how you use him. Okay lads, full time, I believe it was 3-3, we're 3-1 up, we just lost focus, but a 7.8 first game, with a goal, and a beautiful goal, obviously sprinting down the wing is where he's best, cutting inside, putting that on his left, just sums up this card very nicely, boys. Uh, 17 out of 20 passes completed, 2 out of 2 shots on target, and 16 out of 22 triples, which is not great, so I was expecting a little bit more there. Now, boys, we're going to hop into another one, but a 7.8 rating first game. Very respectable. A brilliant goal as well. Let's get into the next game. Go, boys. Next game. First game went well. We may play 2, we may play 3, honestly, depending on how we go. The next team is going to be... Oh, shit! Oh, shit! What? His team name is How Many Icons? It's a lot. But he's got mid R9. Middle Cruyff. Base Ito. What am I seeing? Robin's son. Robin versus Varan. Collert gone. Getting into the box. Collert takes the touch. That was a very powerful shot. I did not think I pressed it down that hard. But still, we win a corner from it. And once again, getting into the box. That's why that instruction is so crucial lads make sure you have him on get into the box if you are using him as a right cam go on bomb gartel ah oh. go on call it through to robin and then once again starting to make that run instantly which you absolutely love to see him versus is that is that roberto carlos oh boys i honestly thought i was gonna i i forgot he's not four star there that's just part of instinct i was, I was meant to drag it from foot to foot go on call it around finish that son He's got a very powerful finesse shot. A very, very powerful finesse shot, which, I mean, I'm digging it, boys. I am digging it, and especially with that first goal. Like, go on, a good pass, Danilo. Man, honestly, Danilo as well is probably the most disappointing out of a lot of the minute. Go on. Go on, call it. Beautiful ball. Robin, this is all you, son. Robin, ding, but bring, blah, 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 blah. That's an assist for call it. Beautifully taken from Robin. Come on, boys. 1-1. One, one. That's an assist for Collett and a beautiful ball over the top. Robin just got there as well. Oh, come on, Danilo. Come on, boys. 2-1 up. The perfect time to get your debut goal, your first goal for the club and your second match in the final minutes. Come on, boys. Get it. Boot it down. The Dutch boys have done it. Oh, come on, man. The Eredivisie squad has done it. A 2-1 win against a God squad. Eventful, eventful, and another fabulous performance, a 6.8, damn, yeah, you don't like him today, a beautiful assist though, uh, 19 out of 19 passes completed, 16 out of 19 dribbling, once again, don't know how EA have rated him so low, lads, what a freaking card, 
That's the two games, one goal, one assist. Let's hop over to the pros and cons screen. He's hopping over to his pros and cons. It's a big list. Starting off with the pros, 91 pace, 96 agility, 95 balance, first free there. Feels exceptional on the ball. I, I reckon you don't need a hawk on him because 91 pace isn't, obviously it's not 99, it's not max pace, but it does a job. And once he is such a small body type, being 5 foot 6, and once he has 96 agility and 95 balance, he feels crazy on the ball. He turns very fast and he's very responsive. So you definitely don't need that pace boost. 90 stamina as well was a massive pro. 91 crossing was nice, although he didn't have to try it out too much. And that 89 shot power we had to get in there. You guys saw the couple instances of him actually getting into the box and putting that on his left. Beautiful. Like, oh, honestly, the power on that was insane. And his first goal, just blitzing down the wing, finishing it on his left, is the best you can ask for. Cons is his 60 strength and his freestyle freestyle. Straight up, that 60 strength, he did get absolutely bullied off of the ball. And the freestyle freestyle is obviously not what you're really wanting at this point of the game. But disregarding that, an absolutely sensational card. Boys, game one, he did get a 7.8 rating, and game two, a 6.8 rating. Game one, he got a goal game two he got an assist that 6.8 rating was definitely harsh because he didn't misplace a single pass that game he got 19 out of 19 passes in the second game and 17 out of 20 in the first game so that did give him an average of 92.3 percent of pass completion rate which is very very solid for a right cam boys the rating out of 10 considering he's free time is money but considering he's free and he's an absolutely sensational card. He's an 8 out of 10. He'd probably be a 9, 9.5 if it didn't take 3 to 4 hours minimum to get this card. Sad reality is, obviously, EA decided to make it uh, play at least 18 games, which is very, very, very harsh. But still, boys, like, he's a free card. He doesn't cost you any coins. Yes, time is money, hence why he's an 8 out of 10, because... Three to four hours is a very long grind. What I would do, boys, is after playing, literally no one was doing golden goal. No one all was doing golden goal in managerial masterpiece. So what you want to do, probably just chuck a Twitch stream on and the finesse goals, the score of crosses, all of that shit, that will come as you play. So just play a normal game, play normally, and it will usually it does not take over 18 because you can get all of the other ones done before you get that last 18. Uh, just play 18 matches. So it takes, like I said, three to four hours, but it's still a free card, and he was exceptional like i said pace agility balance is great the only thing is he does get bullied off of a ball so i would recommend to try avoid getting into physical contact with a right with your opponent's fullback with your opponent's center back he really really is best on drift wide or get in behind if you're playing him as a winger and just running in behind the defense working as a proper left wing or, or right wing and you just don't really want to be playing him central because playing him central he will be facing the center backs he will be facing your opponent's big players so so you want to be using him as a wide player, get in behind and just sprinting down the wing, cutting inside, either sweating it across goal or finishing that with his left as you saw with my first goal, that beautiful finish. And that, his assist he got as well, a beautiful pass, placed to Robin's feet and he just chips out over the keeper. Boys, an absolutely sensational card, like I said, free star, free star and his strength leading him down a little bit, but disregarding that, a great card, an 8 out of 10 and he's going to be a tick from me. I would say he is worth the grind. Boys, hopefully you did enjoy this review. If you are new, a like and sub does go a long way. It's been your boy Davis, and until next time, lads, I'll see you all later. Peace out, guys.